Good evening, everyone, and let's go make a piano man. So, this is on the rocks, and one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, and mix it all up. There we go. Here. Yeah, this is the one. My daddy struck these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What do you do? Your dad, I mean. You broke the penis like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist left off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds, then that my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. I see. Piano Man is an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors her said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So, this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you ever heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? Of course. Of course it wraps back there under that. I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled this nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So, you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. Ahem. <laughs> Harsh words. The worst part is, is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about everything he wants that people will have to do it before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A whole week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. Wouldn't you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance, despite having no previous job experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh. Knowing what, that I have to work for him, it's... Ugh. Why are you working there, then? I'm doubts. Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, 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 don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Joe. Is it hard to be a bartender, Joe? Well, I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. Keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering the whimsy of people order people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards uh, people might leave behind. Why? At one point I thought about being a bartender. I was afraid it'd make me wear skimpy clothing or dance or something. Here we go again. Well, depends on where you start working, you know. I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected, and but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple days, but even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. Jill is so very much in love with her boss. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... Eh. Hmm? Sorry, I get carried away. It's fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I can handle one other drink. One Bartini, please. Brantini. Coming right up. Alright. Let's make a Brantini. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, and one. Oh, I forgot to age it. Three, four, five, six. One. Ah. I'm going too fast and messing things up. And all mixed. There's a Brantini for you. So, yeah. I... There, there are some things in this game, but also... Fairly realistic in the conversation type that you would hear in bars. So... Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know. I just really like it. It's one of the few visual novels that I enjoy playing. Here. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Um, are you alright? Yeah, just a bit of dizzy. And you're clearing your throat? It helps me focus a bit. Yeah, I'm better now. Hey, Jill, do you work with other women? I work for women, but my only co-worker is male. Why? You lucky bitch. I mean, er, you have no idea the heaven you live in. When I started my internship, every intern was female. Have you ever tried competing with women for a good spot? They're relentless. Have you tried making friends with any of them? Friends? Those cunts aren't in there for friendship. They're out for blood. Or, sorry, I mean... The other day I got an assignment, and all I got for my efforts was an afternoon spent locked in the bathroom. And this other time, when our supervisor praised me, I'm still looking for my briefcase. Like, sometimes I just want to take all those bitches and throw them into the sewer or something. Let the lizardmen feast on their livers. I'm just so tired of having to deal with that. I'm tired of having to put up with them. I'm tired, tired. Mm -hmm. No sleeping here, please. Do you want me to call you a cab? Would you be so kind? Dots. Hey, it's Jill. Can you send us a cab? Client? Just a second. Hey, Kim. It's, I'm gonna need your full name. Kimberly Lavalette. Wow, what a flowery name. Kimberly Lovelet. No, I have no idea how to spell it. No, she's too sleepy to answer that. Okay, fine. Thanks a lot. They'll be here in... Z. A minute. She's been through a lot today, I guess. Hey, Jill. Bathroom's done. I'm leaving. Guide Miss Lovelet to her cabin on your way out, please. Oh, she woke up. And fell asleep again. Sure, anything for a client. Excuse me, miss. Please help me walk you to your cab. Big pockets. And that's it. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil? And where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Dots. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Hmm? Not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger. Just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, I'm free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathrooms. Okay. So... We made zero mistakes, cool. We got a 30% commission. We got $714 in pay. We got 600 in tips and flawless service bonus, cool. Here's an extra here's an extra for helping that girl calm down, cool. And today's transfer. Okay, so we have twenty-three hundred dollars in our bank account. We need eight hundred for rent, so yeah. Anyway. Let's continue on. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure... What is Shining Fingered? Four. Weren't you going to have curry yesterday? Ghost took my money. Um, let's see. Uh, what's this? Danger you, dangerous opinions. What is this? Let's talk about Alice Rabbit. Mickey concert. Okay, so... I'll submit all the concert conversation to Stred. Why are you preparing for the death day of your life? So I'm going with my boyfriend. Boyfriend, would you... Why would you lie on the internet? Boyfriend, oh wow. Fucking normies get out. That's so cute and on. Anyway, I'm going with a very special friend of mine. You're the girl from the other day who had a crush on her best friend? Yes. So you're finally going to confess? Oh my god, this is going to be the cutest thing. But I still don't know if I like her. Just wait until Mickey shows up. You'll know right away if you love her. Trust me, I've been there. Also, you will understand once you are there. With her, Mickey concerts are magical shit. The store is closed. Mickey concert too. Lady starting to know and wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. I still don't know. How old? How is she? Uh, I said that. She's got really sharp sometimes. Alright, I'm gonna marry Mickey. Okay. This is all... This is all just a fucking... That's literally just a 4chan thread. Local woman. Local women... Woman local hero. Oh, hey. That might be, um... That might be about, uh, our friend. Oh, nope. 
This morning, a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman. The incident occurred at the Artemis Will Mall, where people noticed someone was on the rooftop of the building. Fire and rescue were called as soon as their presence was noticed by pedestrians, but the person jumped off without notice. A mysterious res rescuer. When the would-be suicide victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch them mid-air and fled the scene before anyone could identify her. The mall is taking extra security measures now. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Let's save really quickly. Just just to be safe. Um and let's go shopping for a bit. Mid-air. Sounds a bit too fantastical. I like the the Oh whoa. Oh man, we need to we can decorate our room, but we need money for like rent. Um Beer on discount, the owner, is try the owner is trying to quit drinking, so he's selling them dirt cheap. So, pre-made beer? Meet the staff, this one is scrap of paper from the download code, or meet the scrap staff scribble. Uh, shoulder massager for those days when you built up too much tension. Coveted tea-based liquor. Tastes like green tea and kicks like whiskey. Hmm. So, we can't do anything with the bar itself, but we can change things around with the uh, apartment. Feel the thrill of being scammed by souvenirs without leaving Glitch City. Okay. They say these bring luck, but its paw is broken, so I wouldn't trust him. I could tear one off any wall in the vicinity, but hell knows what germs they have. Okay. It's a game poster, a poster for some cute game about a pink haired witch flying in a broom. Hmm. Uh, there are games no collector wants, but they're still nice for displaying. Cracked Aruma, Japanese Souvenir, still has this that has seen better days, still has a vintage charm to it. Alex from Cult Classic Video Game Meek. His beard grows in real time. That's horrifying. And uh, Night of the ID Snatchers, beloved police mockumentary. Mega Christmas tree, celebrate bastardization commercial version of an already bastardized celebration. Replica toy Turing. Oh. Oh, it's my baby Turing. But I can't afford it. It's everything. I don't even have it. I don't even have enough. Oh. Someday I'll get. I'll. Someday I'll get. The, the rep of the Turing. All right. Uh, what is shiny and fingered, and why does that sound like it's a fucking? Um, <laughs> why does it sound like it's a fucking? Uh, goddamn. Um, porn subscription. So, I want to look at her room really quick. I kind of don't want to advance much because this this episode might be short because I don't want to like drag it out on purpose but I also don't want to advance because I can't save until like midway through the day and I want to sleep because it's nine in the morning um let's check out let's let's read what else was on augmented eye really quickly 70% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting yeah I'm not a big fan it's not really a surprise, but a lot of people seem to hate the particular brand of instant food. This is from a survey we conducted here at the Augmented Eye last month. A total of 6,000 votes. It looks like the market for shrimp ramen is reducing. That's good, because it sucks. Yes, I'm not a huge fan. I think Alice Rabbit may be a dog. Might a, might a, a dog. There's a typo there, but since this is an image, that will never get fixed. <laughs> a dog, you say. But why? Um, okay, well, maybe, oh. Hmm. I am going to translate this. <laughs> I'm gonna go translate that later. Alright, so... We don't have anything else, right? The purple numbers. Okay, so the purple numbers mean something. Wait. Shrimp is so artificial it doesn't trigger my allergies. Okay. So, the purple numbers mean something. Huh. I will post my findings on that later. It's not going to be anything super amazing. But yeah, that'll be it for the day. Sorry about the short episode. This is finishing off the week, I guess, so... Is it? Yeah, it's finishing off this week. Yeah, yeah, because I'm starting this on a Tuesday, huh? 
Okay, anyway, it's a Friday night, so if you're watching this, uh, good night, everyone, and I will see you later.